President Edgar Nungu, Excellencies, distinguished guests, Zambians here present and those watching virtually from around the world. Today is a great day. It is a great day for peace. It is a great day for Zambians. It is a great day for Africa. It is also a great day for the Commonwealth. And it is a great day for all those who love peace, good governance, and the rule of law, which is embedded in our concept of what makes a true democracy. It is a great day for every member of our family of nation who has thirsted for peace, despaired of peace, hoped for peace. It is my singular honor and privilege to be here with Zambians today. As Secretary General of the Commonwealth, a family of 54 nations representing 2.5 billion people, 60% of whom are under the age of 30 and all committed to the common values embedded in our charter. I want to use this opportunity to offer my profound congratulations to the people of Zambia and to President Hakeyende Hidlima on his inauguration as the seventh president of Zambia. Many feared too far. The divisions were too deep and there was no evidence to sustain the hope for peace. Feared it would take a miracle. But what is a miracle? What creates it? What makes it possible? It is people, and in this case, it is the people of Zambia. People who are able to see how life could and should be. People who have the willingness and courage to fight for that which looks impossible but who know that it is only seems impossible until it's done. And then the impossible becomes the inevitable. The seeds of this peace were sown four years ago when two men, two brave Zambian statesmen, entrusted with the hopes and aspirations of the Zambian people, decided that their belief in God, in the integrity, unity, and safety of their country was more important than self-interest. And they both decided, both decided, to put Zambia and Zambians first. They both faced a choice, and they both chose peace. And so did other Zambian parliamentarians, civil society groups, church bodies, corporate community, and Zambian citizens. The international and multilateral bodies, in partnership with the Friends of Zambia, stood together with them claimed peace, believed in peace, worked
for peace, uniting all men and women of goodwill to carve a space for peace out of the seemingly impenetrable granite surface of disbelief, narrow self-interest, ill will, and apathy. The flame of peace which set alight by the President, Dr. Kenneth David Kunda, which was entrusted to each of his successors, nurtured and kept alive through some of the darkest times by both former President Lungu and President Hichalima has been brought, has brought us here today. Zambia's 2021 election will go down in history as an election won the vote and President Lungu won the hearts of every person who loves democracy and peace by glee hand to President Hichalima. I am grateful that the Commonwealth has been allowed to be part of Zambia's remarkable journey since independence. It is indeed a high moment for the Commonwealth, for Africa and the whole of the international community. Everyone, everyone has played their part. Zambia's democracy is a feat to be admired and celebrated and one which we hope to see emulated in the wider Commonwealth family. Mr. President, the Commonwealth, the whole Commonwealth salutes you and stand ready to walk with you, your government and the people of Zambia as you strive to realize the vision of a prosperous, peaceful and proud Zambia, anchored strong and free.